Brix, Queto star, finds solace in gospel music while in prison. Brix, a well-known Queto star, is currently serving a 15-year prison sentence after being convicted of raping his 16-year-old niece in 2013 at his home in Ruimzig. Despite the challenges he faces behind bars, Brix has found a way to turn his life around and start anew. Brix expresses remorse for his actions. A friend of Saifo Charles and Lovu, better known as Brix, recently visited the Queto star in prison and reported that he appears to be in good spirits. According to the friend, who wishes to remain anonymous, Brix is very remorseful and serves his time to the best of his ability. Initially, he struggled to accept his sentence, but he has since found peace and is focused on paying his dues. Novo has reportedly been keeping himself busy with various projects and continues to make music. He has even started listening to more gospel music and has joined the prison choir. He has always been a good singer outside of Queto and rapping. He will always be a Queto artist, but the gospel has kept him sane and thinking positively. His faith has improved. And he is wise and a spiritual guy. That is the cipher that we all grew up with before the fame, reports the publication. How did the Queto star end up in prison? Sowerton reported in August 2018 that the Queto turned gospel musician Saifo Charles and Lovo aka Briggs was found guilty of raping his then 16-year-old relative at his rented house in Northgate, north of Joburg, in 2013 and was sentenced to 15 years in prison in 2017. According to the victim's testimony, the 16-year-old bled after the incident and her hymen broke as she was a virgin at the time and was in severe pain. The star reportedly told the teenager to take a bath after the rape ordeal and threatened to kill her if she told anyone. Zimoja adds that the victim was not aware that she had been infected with a sexually transmitted disease. She said that after the ordeal, she wanted to end her life as she was fearful of the musician. The victim's father, Beb Nguenya said the family had lost hope and given up on the law until he was sentenced. Beb Nguenya added that Briggs showed no remorse for his actions and refused to apologize when he was told to visit the family to ask for forgiveness from the victim. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.